Hey guys, welcome to Diecast Reviews. Time to do something a little bit different. Um, as you can see in front of me here, I have the Hot Wheels Mario Kart cars uh, that they came out with, and I'll be doing a review on eleven of those. Um, there's more, but I picked up eleven, uh, like eleven different characters. And the two characters that I'm missing that they've released are Yoshi, uh, just the regular green Yoshi, and Rosalina. And if I get those, I'll probably do a review on those two separately. Uh, but let's just go over who I have here. I have Peach in the P wing here. Very nice. Uh, Waluigi in the Bad Wagon. Luigi in the Mach 8. Uh, Wario in the Standard Cart. Donkey Kong in the Sports Coupe. You have Toad in the Sneaker. Dry Bones in the uh, Standard Cart. Shy Guy in the B Dasher. You've got Bowser in the Bad Wagon. Koopa Troopa in the Circuit Special, and Mario in the Standard Car, and here's who we're going to start with. Um, the packages, all of them have Mario, Bowser, and Waluigi uh, Luigi on the back, along with Lucky 2 there. Uh, there's the character image, Mario right there. Uh, here are the other cars. These are all made in different dates. I've got some that are like N26. Um, uh, this one's N32. And I think there's one here that's like... N05. So I got a bunch of different days. This one's N22. Uh, you can see some others on the back. Shy Guy, Mario, Luigi, Lake Blue, Yoshi, Wario, Thousand, and Toad. Uh, copyright 2018. So this was released last year. Though. Uh, N might be... N might be 20... N might be 2019. I'm not sure. Uh, but they're still in stores. So. Um, let's get Mario here out of the package. And here is the cart and Mario. As uh, so I said, you can see they come with the figure and the cart itself. Very, very nice. The figure is like a plastic. That's that's all. And they're molded onto the uh, steering wheel there. And I always wanted someone to do a uh, Mario Kart uh, die cast line. And Hot Wheels answered that call, I guess. Uh, there, there's the base. N22. You've got standard cart. But you don't have the character name on the bottom, which is kind of interesting. But obviously, copyright Nintendo for, like, Mario, Wii U, Nintendo, all that stuff. Um, but here's the cart. Uh, you've got the M on the front for Mario. You've got the yellow wheels, which I believe these are the standard wheels. Like, a standard setup Mario, standard cart, standard wheels. Uh, kind of like the thing you'd expect it. Like, you know, that right there, there's a setup right there. Uh, they could, I, I kind of hope they release ATVs in this line. That'd be pretty cool. They've only done uh, cars. Uh, I don't expect them to do bikes, but uh, ATVs would be cool. Would be cool. Obviously, we've got the red and blue and white color scheme going on here, kind of Mario's colors. And there's the pipes in the back. And uh, yeah, it definitely does look like how you would see it in the game. Um, I think most of these I think are from Mario Kart Eight, except. Are, and I think Dry Bones is from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Or like, I guess all of them would be Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Um, um, but Mario Kart 8, uh, these are all also Mario Kart 8. And I think Dry Bones, Dry Bones isn't in Mario Kart 8, but I believe he's in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Uh, so there is Mario. Definitely a very nice one, but I don't know if he's my favorite. There's some cool ones that are coming up. Like, uh, personally, when, when I play the game, uh... I really like to use like circuit the circuit special car or the um where is he over here the B dasher um all plus they also look like race cars uh, but I do like to use those those are kind of cool uh, let's move on let's go to Luigi here wherever he is here is Luigi in the Mach Eight looks pretty cool Luigi there and this one is also N twenty two so I think we have the uh, same cars as the back there you can see Wario. Uh, so I think all of these will be up for review except Light Blue Yoshi. I uh, want to get the uh, standard Yoshi. Uh, the regular Yoshi. Because I think I've seen Red Yoshi and I've seen Yellow Yoshi. Or green, uh, blue, Light Blue Yoshi. And also I've seen Black Yoshi in like a four pack. But I haven't seen regular Yoshi. Which is kind of strange. Uh, here is Luigi. Definitely looks really nice. I really do like this car here as well. The Mach 8 uh, also has the standard tires, just like Mario. 
There's the base, and this one's N20, even though the package said N22. So a little different, but there you can see Mach 8. I find it interesting that they don't have the uh, character name on the base, but it is what it is. Uh, definitely kind of like another kind of race car style, uh, with a little wing in the back here. We've got the L for Luigi, so we've got the M for Mario, the L for Luigi. Uh, we've got this thing in the front. I don't know what that is, but that looks pretty cool. Um, and this Mach 8 isn't a Luigi colored green and white because, or green and blue and white or whatever. Uh, cause some cars change color when you pick the character, some don't. So like the standard car is different for each character. Um, I think the circuit special is different for each character. Uh, but then cars like this one, uh, the like Mach 8 are the same for each character. Uh, just kind of like the difference is like the uh, logo right there. The L is different. Obviously, it'd be like if it was Mario, it'd be M and stuff. But um, other than that, the cards are the same for each character. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, but that's just a Nintendo, like Nintendo made that. But uh, so yeah, this car is blue and yellow. Definitely nice. You got like these spikes here. Uh, you've got like this thing in the front. And this looks. This is kind of reminiscent of an indie car, an F1 car. How they have this uh, front wing, and then these are like air blockers or whatever they're also used for like uh air resistance um same thing with the uh, uh rear wing here is used for air resistance so that's kind of cool how that's modeled on and this 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 is just like a little wing back here which looks cool you've got a red thing right there uh so that's luigi there's the character luigi if i uh here's more if i didn't really show them they're different you can definitely tell the difference so that's cool kind of how they modeled the character Luigi here, right on the turntable. So yeah, definitely a uh, very nice car. I actually do like the Bach 8 more than I thought I would. Uh, moving on, let's go to Peach in the P-Wing. Uh, she's the only one that I have that is this P-Wing model. Uh, on one of these, yeah, you can see dry bones here. He is, uh, I think, N32. N32. You can see she is a, like two weeks before. Or no, not two weeks before, 22 weeks before, um, or, you know, 20 weeks before, whatever, uh, 21, um, wow, uh, and you can see they have different ones, so they have Mario in the P-Wing, they have Peach also in the P-Wing, so that's kind of interesting, they have Toad in the standard cart instead of, uh, the sneaker, uh, they have Yoshi in the Mach 8, that'd been cool to find, but that didn't, they do have Shy Guy in the B-Dash, or Dry Bones in the standard, and they have Waluigi in the Bad Wagon, now, this is completely different, but yeah. So they do change the characters and the cars up. But let's get Peach out of the package. There you can see there's her character, and it's pink on the side here. So here is Peach. The P Wing's kind of like a sports car almost. So that's kind of cool. And these are not standard wheels, these are different wheels. You can see they say Mario Motors. Just pretty cool. I have Mario Motors there. So, yeah, they're not the standard wheel. Um, we will see that in a couple of cars uh, have this type of wheel. And you can see her logo is like this crown oil, uh, crown logo. Obviously, that's what she has on her head there, the crown. Uh, right there, there's Peach. This looks like it should move, like the way it's made. Like right there, you have the crack. Kind of looks like it should move, but it doesn't. They have kind of like the little window there, which is kind of useless considering how high they're sitting up. Um, but yeah, just molded, mo modeled on the car. Uh, you got this thing, which is kind of cool on the bottom, uh, but uh, it doesn't really do anything. But that's pretty cool. Uh, you got like the white and red design. Obviously, this would be the standard for every character, would have the uh, P Wing, uh, uh, would have this color for the P Wing. Wouldn't change from character to character. We've got this red stripe down here. This black stripe that kind of makes like a P. So that's pretty cool. This is a backwards P, but this looks like a P. This looks like... I don't know what that looks like. Um, could also be a question... I mean, could also be an I. Could also be a question mark. I'm not sure. Or it wouldn't be an I. But, um... Yeah, I, I don't know. It could be anything you want it to be. Could also be a 7. Uh, Mario Motors there, you've got like the X going through the tire in the back, got some pretty cool stuff on the back, kind of looks like, there's her hair, uh, kind of looks like Jump, Jump, 
motors right there. You've got some little things right there. I'm not sure what they're supposed to be exactly. You've got these little tiny, like, red wings sticking out, which is pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, P just P-Wing is pretty cool, but I might have honestly been a uh, preferred to find her in the, like, standard cart. Because uh, a pink pink standard cart would be pretty cool. Uh, but uh, I'm not complaining. The P-Wing is still pretty, pretty cool. Uh, but this is the only time we're going to see the P-Wing in this review. So, yeah, that is Peach in the P-Wing. Very nice. Uh, moving on, let's go to... Uh, let's go to a car we've already seen, I guess. Let's go to the uh, standard cart with Wario. Now, I don't mind the standard carts because they're all different. Um... They're all different for each character. Um, but when you have, like, the uh, Battle Wagon here, you've got a Waluigi and Bowser. They're both in the same car, and it looks the exact same. Uh, the towers are different, but... But here's Warrior. Obviously, you can see his standard car compared to Mario's. They're obviously different. You've got the W for Wario. You've got the M for Mario. Um, but, yeah, they're, they're different. You can see the tires are different. He's got blue tires, uh, which are not standard tires. He's got the standard tires. And obviously the paint scheme is different. He's got the uh, yellow and purple and white scheme. Uh, whereas Mario's got his scheme. If we look at the back of Mario's package, there it is. It is an N05. So this is a very early package. I think I think N was used for last, like 29, like cars made in 2019 were had the N thing. Uh, let's see. Well, let's see what was the back of this meter has an NO. So, you know, I guess this was released in 2020. They're made in 2020. Uh, which makes sense, I guess, that they're in the store. But they're copyrighted 2018, probably because I had to copyright them all last year. I don't know how this works, but whatever. Uh, there's Wario's very mean face. Got the uh, mustache, the whiskers, I guess. Uh, here's his Wario hat. Definitely got, like, really strange ears. But that's what he is in the. Uh, games there's his uh <laughs> nose but yeah there's the standard car we've already seen it here's the wario stuff i guess we got the yellow yellow and purple do go very well together uh, let's not kid ourselves here yellow i do like the yellow and purple combination there's the blue tires you can see the purple on the bottom of the cart with the white and the yellow uh there's the back which is very similar to mario's this kind of looks a little more in place with the yellow uh thing right there where this looks a little out of place but yeah definitely very very nice uh standard cart for wario here i do like the yellow and the purple uh, they go very well together and uh, yeah i like the choice of <laughs> wario like wario is pretty big and the standard cars are kind of small so it looks a little funny but it does look pretty nice um yeah i do like i do like this one this may be one may be a contender for my favorite uh, let's go to a car we haven't seen. Let's go to the uh, Battle Wagon. And uh, why not do Waluigi? I think Wario and Waluigi are brothers. Um, obviously, he's like, uh, like the evil version of Luigi. Wario's the evil version of Mario. Let's get Waluigi out of the package here. Uh, there's the back. It is an N32, so the newest one. Uh, here he is in the Battle Wagon, which is like a disco car. Kind of, and it's kind of, you know, a pink car. It looks very nice. Um, He's got, like, the L flipped upside down, kind of, and flipped over, which I think is, like, a Greek letter or something. Um, ga Gamma, I think it is. Gamma. Um, But I'm not sure. Uh, actually, they didn't want to do a W because it would be the same as Wario's. Um, but it kinda almost looks like an old older style car with, like, the wings in the back here. Definitely looks like a 50s car. Uh, but then it's kind of souped up to be a kart racer. Um, got the front there. Looks pretty, very mean, honestly, the front. Uh, you got the fenders on the side there. There's the steering wheel. It's orange inside. I'm not exactly sure why. I think, oh, those are his feet, I think. Um, yeah, there's Waluigi. Um, you've got the Mario Motor tires. And there you go to the back. You've got the wings, which make it look like that 50s car. Um, and there you've got, like, disco stereo in the back. Uh, which is kind of, kind of like on a DJ from Cars. That looks pretty cool. And then you've got this thing in the back. I don't know what that is, but there you can see the exhaust pipes and the yellow right lights right there. 
so there's the door handle uh so yeah definitely very nice that kind of is where like the music is played from or not played from but that also relates to music uh, i think because that's also on dj right like those things on the side so yeah definitely a very nice um car here i do like the pink on it obviously it's just pink for every character at the battle wagon uh, so yeah, pretty cool. I'm not sure why they chose Lu Waluigi or Bowser in the bad wagon. Uh, I feel like, I don't know. It looks a little strange. Um, but uh, still looks pretty nice, but just looks a little weird. Because when like players are, like, I don't know. It, like, it looks a little out of place. Like, Shy Guy in the bad wagon will look, look okay. But Waluigi, I feel like, as a villain, and Bowser as a villain, uh, wouldn't be driving like a music a car that plays music um i don't know it, it looks nice but i don't know it, do, it does look nice i do i do like the battle wagon uh the pink on it very very nice now uh, here's bowser also in a battle wagon so we'll just take it out of the package and 26 so you've got dates all over the place wow that was very nice so obviously waluigi had the letter right there uh he has the bowser logo um, and he has the standard tires instead of the Mario Motor tires. But other than that, his cart would look exactly the same. Uh, even down to the stereo radio system there. You compare the bases. N25 and N31. Uh, and there is a Bowser. Let me see. This one's kind of like a rubbery plastic, especially these parts back here. They're like a rubbery, rubbery plastic. Uh, the, the spikes kind of move a little bit. See the shell, green shell on the back. Uh, and there you can see Bowser in the front. There's his like hair. Uh, so yeah, very, very nice. And I do like the Bowser logo there. He kind of looks happy in that logo. Uh, so there's the Bowser in the battle wagon. They do look a little funny in these. Uh, maybe that's why they chose because they look a little funny in the battle wagon. Pro that's probably why. Uh, but yeah, pretty nice. So let's get the Waluigi over there. Let's get Bowser here right on the turntable. And I, would, I think Waluigi, Wario, and Bowser are all considered like heavy characters, and they in like their heavy uh, group. Peach, Mario, and Luigi are considered mediums and like shy guy and toad are considered lightweights uh let's move on to another heavy character uh donkey kong in the sports coupe it's like uh, just a standard like coupe uh, obviously and it looks like a cart so here's a donkey kong our uh, uh mario motor tires also on this car donkey kong there he is looks pretty cool he's got his tie right there you can kind of see part of it on the back. You can kind of see part of it is a Donkey Kong tie. Um, but here's the sports coupe. Let's see what it has on the front. Yeah, that you cannot see this. Uh, these made in Thailand, right? Focus. Yeah, it's made in Thailand, so you cannot see what that says. Uh, maybe that has Donkey Kong, like his logo. I don't know. Oh, I think those would be like a just DK, so maybe not. But uh, there you can see that. There's the front the lights uh there you have like the door one door which would make it a coupe uh, you have like the blue mirror in the front or you, uh, you even have the yeah you do have a uh, steering wheel but it's molded like the, obviously they're all molded together so it's just molded the color of like the uh hands so like you can see bowser's hands they're like yellow so he's got a yellow steering wheel all these guys have white gloves so they have a white steering wheel and donkey Kong is like peaches kind of like peach colored hands or whatever um so he's got a peach steering wheel yeah sports coupe i do like the sports coupe um you've got like this thing which would make it a convertible if you want to look close uh so that's what that represents I th i'm almost positive maybe it's just supposed to be a spoiler but no I, I think that would be like what makes it a convertible um there you can see some things inside there and you've got some tail lights, which is pretty cool. Obviously, if it's a coupe, it should have some tail lights. So there you go. There's some tail lights, and I think this is where like the uh, glider comes out in the game. And there's his logo. There's the Donkey Kong logo on the back. DK and the Mario. 
and the uh, Mario motor tires. So, yeah, uh, very nice for Donkey Kong here. Continue to want to uh, drift away. Okay, let me just stand. It's not an angle. Just stay there. Thank you. Uh, four cars left. Four carts left. So that is Donkey Kong. And I believe all the four that we have left are uh, considered like lightweight characters. So uh, let's begin with uh, Dry Bones. Who has the uh, standard cart. And it looks very nice. I like the purple and blue. Purple and blue also work together. So I think Dry Bones is supposed to be like a skeleton version of Koopa Troopa. But it's not a skeleton version of Koopa Troopa. Uh, I don't know how it works. Because, like, you have Dry Bowser. Which is obviously supposed to be, like, Skeleton Bowser. Um, and it's also called Dry Bowser. But here it's not called uh, Dry Koopa Troopa. So I don't really know what's the case here. But um, here is Dry Bones in his, like, purple standard card, obviously. Uh and uh, this one was made in 32 donkey kong was and i think that means he's no5 yeah and bowser i think was n26 so uh dry bones in the standard car uh the purple is a different shade of purple than what wario had it's like more lavender that's pretty cool Here's his Dry Bones logo. So the wheels are a different type of Mario Motor wheels. Uh, they're also Mario Motor wheels, but they're different. That's pretty cool. So you've got like a lavender blue or lavender purple, and you've got a light blue, which is pretty nice. Uh, very nice. I like the color combination. White, it, white always works well with anything. So they've kind of got the color sandwich. That looks very, very nice. Um, yeah, very nice color combinations. The dry bones cart here. Oh, we've seen the standard cart, so we've gone over that stuff. Kind of like an engine back here, but yeah, color combination wise, dry bones has a very nice color combination. And he's, his steering wheel is like a little blue because his hands are kind of blue. Yeah, and the purple wheels work well. Sometimes the wheels fit into the scheme of the car, sometimes they don't. The, the purple wheels here fit in, provide a nice, like a dark purple contrast to the light purple car cart. I'll say definitely. I like I like this one. This one is a contender as well. My favorite. So that is Dry Bones. Now let's move on to Toad. Toad the mushroom in the sneaker. It's a shoe car. A shoe car for Toad. Uh, so yeah, N26. There, the other car is on the back. I'll assume it's the same as Bowser's. But... Let's get Toad here out of the package in the sneaker. Uh, shoe car. Shoe car for Toad, yeah. Sneaker's also another nice car. Also, I should have probably been opening them from the back all the way, from the bottom all along and not from the side. Uh, but here's Toad. Hey, his mushroom hat is so big. For, yeah, definitely uh, pretty cool. But uh, here is the car, the sneaker car. It has like this little inverse. I'm not sure what that star means. I don't, do all the other ones have a star? No. They don't, so I don't know what that means. And the base is, like, not rough. That's very nice, actually. I'm not sure uh, what the star is supposed to mean, but there you go. Sneaker. Obviously, if you look at the front, you've got the shoe look, uh, whatever, like, the stuff the uh, stuff on the shoes on the sides are. Uh, it has the same, like, feel to it, even. Um, definitely, that's what that's supposed to represent. You go to the front, kind of got, looks like a half Nike logo, almost. On the sides, uh, you've got the red, but then you go up to the blue, and obviously this is where uh, you would tie it. These are supposed to represent laces, uh, but they also represent like exhaust pipes here, which is very, very nice. We're very clever by Nintendo to do that. Um, and I think I think the star's supposed to be like Toad's logo, but I'm not sure why it's on the base. But there you can see the star again, and there you can see Toad, baby Toad. I think that, that's why he's got a diaper, right? Because he's a baby. Um, but then you've also got his, uh, there you can see him, and you've got his mushroom hat. I do like Toad. Toad's a pretty cool, cool character. Obviously a lightweight. Uh, so technically I think, um, 
the car for Wario is supposed to be bigger than the car for Mario. And I don't think they are. Um, I think that's how that's supposed to work in the game. Because uh, Wario is pretty bigger than Mario. So obviously the cars are supposed to be bigger. I think that's how that works. But uh, they're the same size here. Which uh, it's just fine. I'll say there is Toad. There's the back. Very, very thin back here. You've got like taillights. And there you've got Toad and whatever that's supposed to be. And uh, yeah, I definitely like how it like juts inside and then back out on the side. That's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I really like the laces being uh, also the exhaust pipes. Very, very clever. And I do like that a lot. Let's give, well, let's give Toad here a, a ride on the uh, turntable. I was holding my hand. Like how the way I'm sitting, I'm holding my hand on my knee. And so when I'm holding the car and then I was putting it down, my knee slipped a little bit. So the car went uh, shooting towards the side. Stay. Okay, let's give Toad here a ride on the turntable. We've got two left. Uh, two Toad might be my uh, in contention for my favorite. I don't know. Dry Bones has that spot right now, I think. But uh, Koopa Troopa could challenge him. So let's uh, let's go to Shy Guy here in the B dash. I don't think they've made different colored Shy Guys, but I know in Mario Kart Eight there are different colored Shy Guys. So I don't know if they will or will not make uh, different colored Shy Guys. But uh, the B dash are here's. Supposed to represent like an indie car, like an old style indie car. Um, so that's pretty cool. You've got the um, also let's see, Toad, man, because he's got like blue wheels, which are I think we've seen yet. Toad had the uh, standard wheels, so I was just curious. Um, so you've got the uh, Shy Guy logo on the front, you've got these little wing plates here, and also a wing plate here, which is um, very similar to what we saw in Luigi's cart. And this one also stays the same color for anyone. I think the sneaker change. I think the sneaker changes colors. Um, but this one stays the same, white and red. The stripe may change. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, yeah, there you see Shy Guy's logo. Uh, logo. Uh, there is Shy Guy with his mask. And uh, yeah, pretty nice. I do like this character here, the way it's made. And there's the side of the car. Got some black stripes there. There's the wheels. And there's the pack with a huge motor. Kind of double the motor of the standard car almost. There's the standard car's motor. There's the huge motor for the B-Dasher. There's the base. But yeah, the B-Dasher, definitely a very cool car. Definitely like that old indie car style. I definitely do like it. I do hope they make more, like, some of these, like, the Bad Wagon is nice, but I, like, I hope they make more of the B-Dashers and less of the band Battle Wagons, just for me. I like the Battle Wagons, but I like, like, the B-Dasher more. But the standard car, uh, I don't, I don't think anything can beat the standard car in terms of, like, it's unique for every character. So, although I think the Circuit Special is also unique for every character, and it's more unique than just, like, the color, like, it's completely different. I think you have different sponsors for each character, so... Uh, for Koopa Troopa, it is N N eleven Toad or not? Yeah, no Shy Guy. I threw it all the way across. Let's see. Oh, what do you have on the base? N twenty one. So I probably mean N twenty two was Shy Guys. Yeah, N eleven for Koopa, who I think is supposed to be Five Bones, but I'm not positive on uh, that. Literally, I only like Mario Kart. Like Mario Kart is the only I way i know of what mario even is um but uh, i know that's kind of weird but that's how it goes um but the circuit special is nothing supposed to be like an f1 car uh but yeah i like it a lot uh, the circuit special is probably one of my favorite carts in the game and it definitely changes for every character uh if we look at the front you've got like the uh, koopa troopa logo which is like the green shell you've got glxa or gxa something or other not sure what that's supposed to be, check, say. Uh, I've got PTT there on the side. Got like the three pointy noses, the blue wheels. You've got one up racing. Uh, you've got another logo right there. You've got mushroom piston. That's definitely like a sponsored car, definitely just like a race car. Check, say there, one up racing on the spoiler. 
got like gold pipes coming out of the back, which is pretty cool. Uh, the spoiler is very nice as well. And you've got these three little stripes right here, the blue, yellow, and red stripes, which are interesting. Um, but kind of provided nice contrasting notes for really tiny, but they made it a little bigger. That might be nice. But yeah, I think the sponsor changes for every uh, for different characters. But yeah, obviously green cart for the uh, green and yellow Koopa Troopa. Uh, obviously just a green shell there on his back. And there is Koopa himself. So yeah, a very nice car, Circuit Special. I, I do like the Circuit Special. Um, so this may actually be my favorite. Kind of funny how the top two are like Koopa Troopa kind of characters. Koopa Troopa and Dry Bones, which is I think supposed to be Koopa Troopa. I'm not sure, but... Uh, yeah, here is the circuit special for Koopa Troopa. The proportions of it uh, look a little weird compared to what it is in the game. Like, the front wheels, I think, are a little lower in the game. And the back wheels, I think, I think they're supposed to be the same size, but I think the wheels are smaller. Um, I guess depending on which wheels you use, obviously. Um, I think, uh, yeah, the proportions are definitely a little weird on this one compared to what they are in the game, but it's okay. So, you can definitely tell it's the circuit special. Uh, so, my top three, Koopa Troopa has to be my favorite. Uh, second, I think, has to be Dry Bones. And third, I'm going to try, like, all the uh, standard cards. The B-Dash was kind of cool for Shy Guys. So, I guess let's go with these being my top three. But all of them are definitely very, very cool. And I definitely hope uh, they release more of these. There's so many they could do. Like, they could do the... Uh, uh, like the like Wendy Von Cooper, whatever her name is, like Ludwig, those guys from Mario Kart 8, Larry, uh, you know, Rosalina and Yoshi. I hope to find those. I'll do a review on those if I do find them. Toadette, they could do. Um, Daisy, they haven't done Daisy, kind of strange. Um, more like Morton Roy, uh, Bowser's Kid, Donkey Kong Jr., I think that's his name, right? Uh, Come on, don't get in there. Um, who else could they do? Uh, the Lakitu dude. Um, they could do him. Um, just like like Pink Gold Peach, Mellow Mario. Like they could they could do a lot. Uh, like Link in Mario Kart Eight, that DLC that they got. Um, uh, the like the ghost dude from Mario Kart Wii, and I think or Mario Kart Seven, and I think Mario Kart Eight Deluxe. But yeah, so there is a lot they could do, and I hope they keep doing this line. And I'll do a review on them if they keep doing it, and if I find Yoshi and Rosalina. So yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye bye.